Some people just love to do videos, but I'm not one of them. Have to get the camera out and the battery's always dead and I'm using electric connection here for this. But I just wanted to show uh, something concerning the CO2. I have a homemade CO2. It's right there, you know, it's yeast and sugar. And a bubble counter right there and a diffuser in the tank. Of course, a check valve on the line. And, uh, I mean, look at the micro bubbles. I, I never got that before um, when I mixed uh, my mix. But I did change the mix, and I that's why I'm doing this video. I put uh, two cups of sugar, uh, half a teaspoon of yeast, uh, and uh, a little uh, baking soda like a teaspoon of baking soda and then I did a squirt of pancake syrup the real sugary kind uh, not a lot maybe maybe a couple of tablespoons full in there which I never did before and now I notice the uh, the uh, bubbling action is a lot more uh, fierce it's almost like pressurized CO2. It's I'm getting a lot of micro bubbles out of here. So I just thought I'd pass that along. Next time you make your mix, maybe add a little inexpensive pancake syrup. The one I had, <laughs> we never ate. It was a br store brand name and it tastes terrible. And I meant to throw it out and I'm glad I didn't because now I'll use it for when I do my... Uh, yeast and sugar mix I'll put a little squirt of this stuff in because wow it's really micro bubbling much more than I usually get when I just use sugar and yeast I don't know why I guess the liquid sugar reacted quicker but it's uh, really great okay